Hey everyone, and welcome to this final episode of English 101, and this is actually take three. So this verb here has already been crossed out two times, and that's the third. So there we go. Um, we are, as, as I, I just want to say, disclaimer, that we uh, don't provide an in-depth look at how verbs work here, but a very, very brief overview so that my students and those who are interested have a chance to just refresh on what is a verb and that's what we're doing here so what is being done and there are there's going to be uh, some exercises down below the video as per usual so let's get into it and we'll start with the regular verbs and that's like the ba most basic form uh, and the one that's actually easiest to look at um, and it comes in three basic forms. We have the infinitive, we have the past, and we have the past participle. Those are the three ones we have. Uh, and starting with the infinitive up here, I walk. Very basic. That's how it works. Uh, but then there are like three, you could say subclasses to the infinitive. You have the ing form that I am walking, as you can see here on the screen. That's something that's happening right now. I am currently doing this. You can also say if it's he, she, or it, then you can say he walks, as we have right over here. Perfect. Then we have the future. The infinitive works here as well. We say, I will walk to you later. Something you're going to do. And you have something called conditionals. Uh, I would walk home if I could. Still, the infinitive form, I would walk. And that form, the conditionals, that's basically something that might happen depending on a certain situation. And I am going to uh, just say that, yes, I have noticed that it's, uh, it should be a capital I over here, but I missed that. I'm so sorry. Ignore. Um, if we then look at the uh, past, I walked, I got a capital I, yes. Uh, that's when you add the ED at the end. It's very like the basic form, something that happened at an unspecified time. So I walked, I did that, that happened. And then you have the past participle, I have walked, and that's a specified action that happened. So this one, it's in the past, yes, in the past, then it's more unspecified, and then you have the past participle, which is more significant when it comes to stating when something happened. Like, I have walked, I did that. It's very specified. So that is like a very brief overview of the regular verbs and how they work. And all regular verbs follow like these you have these forms you have the infinitive you have the past and you have the past participle they all exist then we move over to the irregular verbs and this is all i have on them because there are a lot of them i will post a link down below to a site that lists many of them and uh, where you also find the three forms that you see here the infinitive the past and the past participle and how they work so, and that's the easiest way and to learn them. There is no rule to how they work. They are away from the rules. So you just have to learn them and you do that by experiencing them and recognizing them. And you're not going to say, oh, that's an irregular verb because you have learned it as part of your vocabulary, but you're going to recognize it. And then you're going to be, all right, I know how to conjugate that verb or that word, even if you don't understand that it's a verb, because you're used to it, you've seen it before. So check out the link below and check out the questions below as well. And I hope you've enjoyed this little series of uh, English 101, and I will see you in another session.